All right, right quick, five minute video. Tax lien investing. Um, very easily, tax lien investing is where you can buy a piece of property, buy a piece of real estate uh, at tax sale. Well, you can't buy the property at tax sale. Uh, most places in Mississippi, Mississippi law is a little bit different. What you can do is you can buy a tax lien. You can buy a tax lien certificate, which gives you the right to when the landowner comes and does pay the taxes, you get some interest off of it. So that's like an interest bear instrument, instrument is what that lien is. And those tax liens are simply where uh, the day comes for taxes to be paid. Uh, there's a deadline for that date. Most counties in Mississippi, that's around the end of July or end of August. Somewhere in that time period. And the taxpayer, the owner of the property, does not come and pay their taxes by that deadline. Uh, on that date, the, the, the clerk, the chancery clerk, puts it up for tax sale. Uh, the tax assessor uh, gets this notice that, okay, hey, you know, uh, we went up for tax sale for the taxes. Uh, it goes to auction for that amount. And typically, you know, so if someone doesn't buy, then just it goes unpaid. Uh, and then there's a lien on it. And you can go in and buy these liens if the taxpayer still doesn't come and pay the taxes. And it sits there until the taxpayer comes to pay taxes. And if you bought, it, bought the lien at auction or bought it later after the auction, then when the tax no landowner actually comes to pay the taxes, you get that money back plus interest. Okay, so that's the first part of that. So it's the, what's called tax lien investing. Okay, you can actually end up owning or have the right to own the real estate when the taxpayer fails to come and pay you uh, over the course of three years. Three years comes and goes. Your tax lien can what's called mature. Okay, and then you're given a tax deed or tax certificate from the chancellor clerk's office. Okay. This again is really typically just a lien. You still can't buy and sell the real estate. There are other investors who deal in these instruments. I am certain that cryptocurrency has a market for them. Uh, that there's actually a, a cryptocurrency now online that uh, takes these and puts a value to them. These tax liens or instruments because cryptocurrency is something everything. You'll find something somewhere there on cryptocurrency. There's going to be uh, a cryptocurrency for tax lien certificates that you own. Because so these are now because of that market being created in cryptocurrency, these tax liens now are marketable instruments. Uh, the you have to check the price and see how much money they're worth, and see if you're going to get rich. Uh, my view is always there is no such thing as get rich quick scheme out there of true valid legal one. Uh, again, it just boils down to, are you going to get educated and learn uh, what it takes? Now, you can, once you, this tax lien matures you, you can go and do what's called a title confirmation. Uh, now that you have a tax lien certificate uh, from the Chancellor Clerk. Uh, title confirmation is a legal process where you uh, petition the court legally to go for a judge and say, I want the complete title of this property put in my name totally. I want to take it completely from the landowner. They haven't paid me my money. Three years has passed, uh, plus one. And so I'm going to do advertising the newspaper. I'm going to uh, deliver, try and find this landowner and put in his hand a copy of the summons, the complaint, have a court hearing, allow him to show up. And until that gavel comes down at that hearing, the landowner has a right to come and pay you your money, your taxes, and get their rights to the property back. Uh, uh, the landowner can dispute and say you didn't properly advertise, that there was a mistake, uh, statute of limitations hasn't totally run out, uh, they have certain defenses that they can utilize, limited to probably only around three defenses. But they can use them and the judge can rule in, in the landowner's favor and you end up, you know, having spent some money and some time and end up with nothing. Uh, except the right to, for, to still wait for the landowner to give you your money for the taxes that you pay. Now then, uh, in Mississippi, uh, we have uh, a land uh, role in our Secretary of State's office. Where what also ha what all what happens when these properties uh, successfully years go by where the taxes still aren't paid, uh, that three years ends and nothing's been paid. They've not come and redeemed any any year because I understand each year 
of those three years, uh, taxes came due. Okay. So now those taxes have stacked up and, you know, if no one's paid them, then they're just sitting there. And so they'll be auctioned off to, and they'll go to the state, the state of Mississippi that owns them. Secretary of State has a land roll complete of all these properties. Now in Mississippi, we have a statute that allows you when you purchase property from the Secretary of State, from this land roll, you can, you're allowed to get a confirmation of title. Uh, and the result of a confirmation of title is the best and highest form of ownership of property known as fee simple absolute. Uh, it comes from a term in England, fee simple absolute, where all land was owned by the king. And the king could give a person, award someone, you know, property, one of his dukes or duchesses or whatever the term is. I don't know because I, I didn't grow up in England. Uh, one is right regents, governors, viceroys, whatever that term is. He could give them property. And what the king would do is give that person property, fee simple, absolute. It would be his property totally, completely would be subject to any liens. No one could make any claims against it. He owned the property. We brought that term here to America. And that is what you can get uh, at a when you do a confirmation of title subject to the statute when you purchase a property from our Secretary of State's office from the land roll when the judge gives you, grants you your title confirmation. And there's no higher form or clearer title. All debts, liens, mortgages, uh, claims against the property totally wiped out. They're totally done away with. This would be an ultimate last hearing. Of, at this title confirmation of the landowner to come and say, okay, I really got to prove my case because if he gets this title confirmation, um, that, that, that's it. Truly, that's truly is it. Now with this, this is the type of deed. With these deeds, with a fee simple absolute title confirmation signed by the judge, yes, you can walk into any bank, any financial institution. Now you have an asset. Now you have true a real estate asset, uh, something of true value. Now with those, I can only imagine with cryptocurrency, the property can be worthless. It could be, you know, a torn down, burnt up shack on Shikalak Street in Shibuta, Mississippi. Uh, it could be a, uh, a, a, a vacant lot on a vacant street in, let's say, Jackson, Mississippi, which we have. There are entire streets in Jackson, uh, urban area with industry left. Uh, it could be one of those, but because it is land and because you have fee simple absolute, you can play the game of monopoly. What you would want to do is strategize. And if the, if there's a whole entire, it's try to find a vacant street, a street full of vacant properties. There's one actually very close to Clinton, right on the Clinton line, uh, where all but two pieces of property are occupied. The whole entire street is owned by the state of Mississippi. Uh, you obviously want to buy that whole entire street. Each one of those lots is owned by the state of Mississippi and goes from a range of $300 to, I think the highest is around $5,000 for one of those lots, depending upon the, how the tax is stacked up, like I explained earlier. Um, you, you would play the game Monopoly, uh, and then you would, uh, of course, run and get uh, what I, my suggestion. Let me show you. And this this is a this is a book uh, by the American Bar Association, uh, Navigating HUD Programs: A Practitioner's Guide to the Labyrinth. Okay. <laughs> um, you want to go? You want to uh, build properties where and put them up for rent for people who get a government check. Uh, for people who are veterans, who get veterans check for housing, people obviously on HUD programs for housing, which there's a whole list that that book catalogs the whole list of those different programs. Uh, people who are social security, have retirement checks on fixed incomes, who get a government check and therefore uh, are looking for housing. That way you can pay your bills with government checks because the government checks are gonna come in regularly. Um, there's a myth out there. Well, you know what? I want to rent to people who will get government checks. They don't tear up my property. Well, that's where you have to screen out people who you're going to rent to. 
Uh, tune in next time. I'll explain in more detail how you can create these businesses. Bye-bye.